Welcome to the Microfocus Identity and Access Management video series. Hi, I'm Kent Purdy, Product Marketing Manager for Access Management. I'm Kevin Pryor. I'm an Access Solutions Sales Engineer. So Kevin, uh, as organizations look to way, different ways to uh, implement two-factor authentication, why don't you show us another way that they can leverage smartphones or mobile devices that people carry with them all the time? Mm -hmm. Sure, so uh, what we'll do is let's go ahead and here we're going to start this RDP connection. And we've got this set up here where it's going to want to use our, it's going to want to use the Bluetooth from our phone, which I already have enrolled. And if you notice here, it's asking right now to present the Bluetooth device. So what I'll do is I'll simply go into my phone, go to my settings, turn on Bluetooth, right? And then when we get the Bluetooth turned on, as it's connecting now, if you look at the screen, all of a sudden now it's prompting me for my password. So it's communicated with my phone to identify right. me already. Now we have this set up to where it's prompting for a password after we've already identified ourselves. So here, let me go ahead and type in my password. You've done your two-factor almost in reverse order. That is correct. And uh, there's actually been a lot of requests from customers as well lately where they don't want to have the LDAP password first. They want that afterwards. Oh, interesting. Because if your password is compromised, they have to get past this two-factor before they can even find out if that's a good password. That's a good point. I like that. All right. So at this point here, we're authenticated in. Um, one of the other things we can do here is we can actually um, if we were to move, take our phone to where the Bluetooth disconnects, it'll automatically log me out. So you'll get, yeah. right? But in this case here, let me go ahead and I'm going to manually log off first. So we're going to simulate a scenario where you've left the phone in, the, in your car or, or someone's trying to get in and doesn't even have the phone with them. Uh, no, not in this scenario. So in this scenario, what we're going to do is we just logged in the first time. Right. We used the Bluetooth and then the password. Right. All right. So now I've logged off. Now I'm going to reconnect to that same machine. And what I want you to pay attention to here is that when it connects, it's going to actually go through, look for the Bluetooth device. Okay. So now it wants the Bluetooth device. Notice it found the device, but it didn't prompt me for my password. Oh yeah. So it's a strong authentication, mm -hmm. not two factor. Mm -hmm. That is correct, and what we're doing is we're actually caching that information so now it can be configured to where every X number of minutes or hours that you'd have to enter in your LDAP password. Got right? it. So again, there's been multiple requests from customers where they want to be able to do the two-factor maybe once in the morning and then maybe once in the afternoon when they come back from lunch to make sure that it's them. But any other time that they're to log in, they just want them to go ahead and access right. the machine, have their phone, and they automatically get authenticated. They want a really a passive experience where the user doesn't do anything. They just get access to what they want mm -hmm. and their level of security is by what they have with them. That is correct. All right. So now in this scenario what I'll do is I'll simply go ahead and uh, now we've got our Bluetooth which is still on. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. All right. And now that that is off, what you'll see is that now we're going to be automatically logged off of the desktop. And that is because we've lost that communication between there, so we have it set up to where it will actually log the user off. So if, if someone were to like step away from the machine and walk down the hall, it would just automatically log them out of that application. Correct. And let's say they come back to their desk. Mm -hmm. At that point, would they be automatically authenticated back in? Provided that they're in that same time right. period exactly. that, that you've defined. Well, that's very cool. Well, thanks, Kevin. That was a really cool demo. I really like passive authentication because the user doesn't have to do anything. It's just totally convenient. Mm -hmm. So the organization gets that higher level security without any of the hassle. Okay. And thank you for watching this demo. Don't forget we have other demos in the same video series.